Unresolved Problem segment tonight, a viewer warning, disrespectful, bad language ahead. As I opined in the Talking Points memo last night, attacks on Christianity are getting bolder in America. The recent invasion of a Catholic church in San Francisco by gay militants is a prime example of that. Now some Christians have decided to fight back, and one of their targets is shock comedian Kathy Griffin. A lot of people come up here and they thank Jesus for this award. I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. He didn't help me a bit. If it was up to him, Caesar Milan would be up here with that damn dog. So all I can say is, suck it, Jesus. This award is my God now. All right, with us now, Russ Hollingsworth, the general manager of the Miracle Theater Group, which paid for this full-page advertisement in USA Today, decrying the assault on Christianity in this country. So first of all, I mean, you took up the ad, and you mentioned Kathy Griffin in the ad, all right? Now, do you want action taken against the woman? Oh, not at all. Matter of fact, we actually followed with a second ad. Uh, a few days later because it's not so much about, it's unfortunate what Kathy said, to say something so grotesque about the Lord and Savior that Christians worship is one thing. Uh, but was, what was so sad for us, Bill, was the response in the audience and the laughter. Just Yeah, but laughter. this is Hollywood. But if she had said anything that vulgar about another faith group, another people group, it would have been justifiably Well, we, we know absurd. that, but if she said this in Tennessee where you're based, that audience I don't think would have laughed in Tennessee. She would have been a lot in a, in a lot more trouble. But what you have here is uh, a media that's sympathetic to anti-Christian bias. Mm -hmm. You would agree with that, right? right. I Absolutely. think that's indisputable. Absolutely. You have urban areas like San Francisco, Hollywood, right. that celebrate this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do about it? I mean, what do you want done about We're it? We're trying to wake up the silent majority because the, these people who create programming and, and uh, uh, politicians who oversee this kind of debate and, uh, and influence the Christian message, uh, they're listening to this small, radical, evil, hateful minority, and, and the Christians are the great silent majority that need to be woken up. We need to stand gently, turn toward the culture, and say enough is enough. Uh, well, when you say enough is enough, what does that mean? See, look, Miss Griffin would say she's not, she, she made a joke. That's what I know she, she didn't yeah, want to come on and right. we invited her on. But she would say, look, I made a joke. What she really wants, and this is absolutely true, is attention. This right. woman wants attention. She got attention by doing this. She's now doing a Vegas act, which is getting a lot of people to come see her. She has notoriety. She's a shock jock. Right. All right. So there's really nothing you can do about Kathy no, 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 but what we can do is begin to change the heart and mind of our culture of people. The guy at, at, at the cubicle next to you who stands up and shows you a picture of some crazy website about Jesus in a jock strap and in women's lingerie. Uh, now, okay, say somebody did that. Your reply would be? Wait a second. That is... That is my Lord and Savior. All right, so you would confront the person. Absolutely. Right. And, and what we are not confronting our, our culture aggressively enough. A, a case in point, Christ has been ripped out of Christmas. School, a school prayer is gone. You can't sneeze in public in the name of Jesus without being sued or mocked. Uh, the silent majority of Christians who love Jesus Christ need to engage our culture, and we're sitting back. We're sitting back. All right, well, so you want them to confront and say it's wrong. Do you want them to sue? Do you no, 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 no. This, this is, again, this is... This is just this telling is, people how you feel. That's right. What, we, are, we are too comfortable sitting back watching the fabric of our, right. of our culture be you, ripped Did you see the coverage we did in San Francisco? Of Absolutely. The invasion? You saw that. Absolutely. Okay, now, now these people, the gay militant in San Francisco, actually went in, violated the church, and committed a sacrilege. The city fathers of San Francisco won't condemn it won't do anything about it. The Catholic Church won't prosecute it. They could. In a case like that, what should be done? Well, where, where are the Christians in San Francisco? There's a lot of them. Uh, there There's are. There's a lot of them. There are. And we need to get engaged. And we can do it. Uh, the scene from A Bug's Life, where the, the grasshopper's kicking the butt of the little ant at the end, and finally the colony locks arms and walks toward the grasshopper quietly, but firmly, they they changed the scene. So you would of that say movie. a demonstration or something like that? Writing uh, the congressman demonstrations, uh, graceful, loving, but firm demonstrations. Wait a minute. I think we're, we're a voting block. Might we're do spending it. money. Right. Absolutely. I think in a Christian community in America, if you're really outraged, demonstrations and taking ads out like you did, uh -huh. naming the names, embarrassing and, and shaming them. Mr. Hollingsworth, thanks very much. We appreciate.